Leviticus 3. If your offering is a peace offering and you present an animal from the herd, either male or female, it must be an animal without any defect. Lay your hand on the head of your offering and slaughter it at the entrance of the tent <clears throat> of meeting. Aaron's sons, the priests, will throw the blood on all sides of the altar. As a fire gift to God from the peace offering, present all the fat that covers or is connected to the entrails, the two kidneys and the fat around them at the loins and the lobe of the liver that is removed along with the kidneys. Aaron and his sons will burn it on the altar along with the whole burnt offering that is on the wood prepared for the fire, a fire gift, a pleasing fragrance to God. If your peace offering to God comes from the flock, bring a male or female without defect. If you offer a lamb, offer it to God. Lay your hand on the head of your offering and slaughter it at the tent of meeting. The sons of Aaron will throw its blood on all sides of the altar. As a fire gift to God from the peace offering, present its fat, the entire fat tail cut off close to the backbone, all the fat on and connected to the entrails, the two kidneys and the fat around them on the loins and the lobe of the liver which is removed along with the kidneys. The priest will burn it on the altar, a meal, a fire gift to God. If the offering is a goat, bring it into the presence of God. Lay your hand on its head and slaughter it in front of the tent of meeting. Aaron's sons will throw the blood on all sides of the altar. As a fire gift to God, present the fat that covers and is connected to the entrails, the two kidneys and the fat which is around them on the loins and the lobe of the liver which is removed along with the kidneys. The priest will burn them on the altar, a meal, a fire gift, a pleasing fragrance. All the fat belongs to God. This is the fixed rule down through the generations, wherever you happen to live. Don't eat the fat. Don't eat the blood. None of it.